So it was really difficult. So, you know, so we had decided what if we made it really simple with an app and uh, made it really easy for, for parents to be to be able to manage the content that comes into the home and not just for one device, but for any device that's connected on your home network. Hmm. That's really the, the genesis of, of okay. why we started Griffin. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of All the Smart Things, a video series from IoT for All, the number one publication and resource for the Internet of Things industry. I'm your host, Ryan Chacon. On today's episode, we have John Wu, the CEO and founder of Griffin Online Safety. Um, and we're here to talk about the Griffin AX. It's an all in one Wi Fi solution to ensure safe, fast, and reliable internet for families and small businesses. Um, great conversation. We talk about the creation of this product, what it does, how it works, why it exists. Um, um, kind of challenges in the creation of bringing a smart product to market. I think, you know, like, like we do with this series, we try to just kind of give you a behind the scenes look at smart products, how they work, why they exist, um, uh, challenges that went into it to help maybe just showcase some fun stuff that, that would be good for you to learn as well as if you're developing a smart product yourself, uh, maybe some, some advice to help you be successful as well. So um, please enjoy this episode of All the Smart Things with John Wu. Welcome, John. Thanks for taking time to chat with me today. I appreciate it. Glad to be here, Ryan. Yeah, it's great to have you. Um, so I wanted to kick this off by having you do a quick introduction about yourself and give us a little overview of, of your company. Sure. So my name is John. I'm the uh, CEO and co-founder of Griffin. And what we do at Griffin is really to take some of the enterprise class type of network protection and bring it into the home, making it affordable and easy for anybody to really install and mm -hmm. protect your home network. Um, as you know, um, we are introducing a lot of these connected devices inside our home, and it's really, uh, if you if you really think about it, our home networks are becoming more of an enterprise network, and yet we don't treat it like an enterprise network, right? So we have all these different connected devices. Our kids are getting access to the internet through all these different uh, devices, like your Xbox or your iPad or your phone or your laptop or even your TV, um, and yet we don't treat it like like an enterprise network so what griffin is doing is really to take a lot of those network same same type of network protection principles and and, and technology but making it so that it's really really simple for anybody to to bring it into the home environment or small business and yeah. uh, so that you can have that level of control and protection for all those devices fantastic and so tell me a little bit about the the story behind the company like what was what prompted you to to found this company to create these products? Like, what was it that you kind of saw in the market that kind of that that pushed you down this path of of building this company? Yes. Yeah, so, um, so my background is in wireless and IoT. I've been in the industry for more than gosh now more than twenty eight years now. Um, but just working on wireless um, devices, one of the products that we created before was a product called MiFi, which is a a wireless uh, hotspot that you can carry anywhere. So it's basically a Wi-Fi hotspot um, mm -hmm. that, uh, that connects you to the internet through the carrier's network like Verizon or AT&T. Um, and a couple years before we founded Griffin, um, it was really an incident with my daughter. She was, um, at the time she was in grade school, she was on her iPad. This was when um, Frozen had just came out and mm -hmm. she was searching for princesses on her iPad. and just a bunch of inappropriate stuff came up uh, and just got me to think about, you know, how do I, as a, as a parent, how do I really protect my, my kids from all this stuff online? And, and really, there, there isn't really any good tools available. You know, you have software solutions, but we're installing all these different types of things on these devices, right? That, that's not very cohesive and, and you have to learn each individual way of controlling these devices. And we just thought about what if we have that control on your Wi-Fi router, because mm. all the traffic in your home comes through the Wi-Fi router. Um, and looking at some of the solutions that are out there at the time, it was just, you know, it was really, really bad, you know, implementations of, of, uh, of parental controls on these Wi-Fi routers. It's more about, you know, you have to log into a website, you have to enter all these, you know, these, these websites manually and all that okay. stuff. So it was really difficult. So. You know, so we had decided what if we made it really simple with an app and uh, made it really easy for, for parents to be to be able to manage the content that comes into the home and not just for one device, but for any device that's connected on your home network. Hmm. That's really the, the genesis of, of okay. why we started Griffin. So how, so I, I guess um, you kind of mentioned it already where the existing Wi-Fi routers had a way for you to monitor 
or or by his parents to monitor what was going on and have some control of what was happening. Um, but the user experience wasn't the best or wasn't ideal. Um, what other kind of ways are people trying to control or trying to protect uh, now be without this device? And kind of where does this sort of fit in 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 the mm -hmm. market and the landscape, given what people already have in their home or or maybe device level security? Um, and the, like, and then also, like you said, on the routers themselves, having some level of security too. Um, so just out of curiosity, kind of look, look at a better sense of where this product, um, the Griffin AX fits in, in kind of the whole scheme of things. Sure. Yeah. I mean, there, there are software solutions too, that you can install on these end devices for front of control yeah. and security. Uh, but the, the challenge is that a lot of these, um, you know, we're introducing new devices into our home and you have to install on every single device. The other thing is that you really can't install software on some of these some of the devices like your TV or your sure. connected refrigerator or your connected barbecue grill, right? So um, the only way to really protect uh, these devices are to do it on the network layer, and that's where the Griffin AX kind of comes in. It's basically your network, right? So any device that's connected to the Griffin AX is protected by the Griffin AX. So okay. you don't really need to install anything onto these end devices. Gotcha. Okay. Makes perfect sense. Um, who, I know you mentioned parents and kind of small businesses. Is that kind of the main target audience for, for the product? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Our core audience is basically uh, parents with, with kids. Okay. And it could range from, you know, um, toddler all the way up to teenagers. Although yep. it does get a bit harder uh, to implement uh, when, when, uh, with a teenager, but um, right. it's doable. Uh, and, but it also kind of spans beyond just parental control. It's also about network protection uh, sure. to protect all the different connected devices in your home from being hacked. Fantastic. And so tell me, take us through, okay, we have the product here, but just, just take us through how it exactly works as far as how does it, so once, once you get it, you open the box, take it out. Mm -hmm. And then, then what do you do? How do you get it up and running? What's that process look like? Um, uh, and yeah, go from there. Sure. Yeah, I think when you think about installing a router, nobody really wants to do it. it it's a little bit of a, a barrier, um, but we made it made it a lot simpler. Um, so basically what you do is you download our app, our Griffin Connect app, and you create a login. Once you create a login, we just um, there is a QR code on the back of that uh, Griffin AX, and that's a secure QR code. So you just scan it uh, with your Griffin app. Once you scan it, it'll automatically connect the the Griffin AX to your um, to your account and to your app. So then then the, basically that's that's pretty much it as far as setting it up. And then for the individual users in your family, you can create different user um, profiles. Um, so for your child, you might want to filter out certain type of content and mm. set a bedtime uh, for your right. kids. So that all their devices, internet gets shut off at a certain time in, in the evening. And then for your devices, you might want to not have any, you know, type of filtering or, you know, have a later bedtime for for your devices. So we allow you some individual control over all the connected devices uh, in your home. But the basic setup is fairly simple. You just scan the QR code, and your your Griffin is pretty much set up after that. Oh, that's awesome. And how uh, how much coverage does it provide in a home, like space wise, and and how does that kind of operate there? Every home will be different. Um, based on the construction of the walls, the course, layout of the of house course. and all that stuff. But the typical uh, one Griffin AX will cover about 3,000 square foot uh, of, of your home. Wow. Okay. Awesome. But you can um, also mesh uh, additional Griffin. So you can add oh, cool. a mesh router, so you can add additional uh, Griffins to create a mesh network. So it's a, it's a lot bigger uh, network. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, fantastic. Um, one question I, I always like to ask anyone uh, I have on here about the creation is, is tell us about the story or the process it took to kind of bring this to market. What were some of the big learnings that you, you kind of came across or some of the big challenges you came across and how you overcame them? Mm -hmm. The reason I ask is, is I think there are a lot of learnings that are transferable to other people who are in the process of building and bringing smart products to market. Right. Um, and I'd love to kind of just get a sense of what your the journey was like to bring this to market and some of the things that you learned and kind of came across that might be good for other people to hear and, and any advice you could share? Sure. Actually, this product is our uh, third product. So we had okay. two other products that we that we brought to market before. Hmm. Uh, the biggest challenge for the first product, the Griffin, um, the Griffin Tower, which you see behind me, I think it's this one right here. 
Mm-hmm. It, it's got a twisted design, and uh, we thought it was really cool to have a twisted design because it was it was a, it was an inspiration from when I went to uh, Italy. Um, I don't know if you saw this, if you've seen the statue of David, mm-hmm. where he has a sling over his shoulders and he's yep. you know twisted and ready for action. And right. So we thought it was really cool to kind of reference that, and and you know Griffin is ready for action to defend against the Goliath of the internet. <laughs> on the internet. Yeah. Um, but that design is really hard to make, you know, so sure. it's, um, you know, having that twist is, uh, you know, just mechanically, it was, it was very difficult. Uh, so as you see with our latest design, it's, it's a, there's no twist in it. It still looks nice, but it's, it's right. Yeah. Not twisted. Yeah. It's uh, very, very clean. I love it. Um, really like the design. Yeah. Um, but yeah, what was, so, so, so what were some of the, um, besides the kind of the form factor side of it, anything regarding mm-hmm. the technology or just um, any other kind of pieces that you maybe were unforeseen challenges you weren't expecting and then, then you would kind of be able to, you found solutions to them that would be worth sharing? Yeah, so um, our approach to the design was that we didn't want to use anything that was proprietary as far as the hardware mm-hmm. other than the, you know, the, the mechanical uh, design and the industrial design. Yeah. Um, but everything internally was um, pretty much off the shelf, right? So okay. our, our real kind of secret sauce is not really in the hardware. It's really the software platform. Hmm. So that's where our focus was. Um, and that's where, that's where our focus is today. So, you know, I think that made it a lot easier. Um, I know not all smart devices can do that, but if you can try to try to do as much of off the shelf uh, components as possible. Cool. Um, and that said, though, I mean, you know, over the past year, I'm sure anybody that's doing uh, any type of hardware would attest that uh, the supply chain has been a huge challenge for a lot of people. Yep. Um, you know, COVID was really good as far as the market is. You know, the, we doubled our business during COVID because everybody was upgrading their home network and sure. home network security was really important. Uh, when you work at home, but the the challenges are just with the supply chain and. Uh, yeah. um, you know, we, we had to really, you know, really manage the supply chain quite a bit because of the long yeah. lead time components and all that stuff. Absolutely. Um, I think the, you know, one of the things that, um, uh, I mean, that, that was really a challenge. So um, I think the, I'm not sure what lessons we learned from it, but other than just, you, you really need to, you know, pay attention mm. to, to that. When, yeah, when for sure. So what is the, what does the future of this look like for you all? What is the future of the space in your minds? Like where do, where do these products, and I know you have a, 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 a suite of other products as well, not just this one, mm-hmm. but where does, where does it go from here? What, it, what are your kind of, you have your eyes set on where do you kind of think the space is going? What, what should people be on the lookout for? Well, we think the, your, 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 the router that sits in your home is a really critical piece of equipment, right? So if you think sure. about it, the router touches every single piece of, connected hardware that you have in, inside the home. Right. So and it's only it's the only piece of hardware that actually has that capability and that and that scope and that breadth. Um, so we're so the next product that we're introducing next year, uh, early next year is called Griffin 6E and mm. the the what's going to be on it is we're going to be running what we call MetaSafe blockchain. Uh, we had a lot of requests from a lot of our customers about um, how do I manage my passwords on the internet? Because I'm going out to all these sites. Right. Um, is there a better way to kind of manage those passwords? I know a lot of people use um, uh, these centralized password managers to, to yep. manage the, their password. And the weakness with, with a lot of these uh, centralized password managers is that if a hacker hacks into their database, your all your passwords are pretty much compromised, right? So our thought was, what if we turn the underutilized, you know, your routers actually has a, at least for, for our routers, we, we have a lot of memory on it. And right. we have a lot of horsepower that's underutilized. So we're going to turn that into, you know, uh, to, to be able to run the MetaSafe blockchain. And you're going to be able to store your passwords on the MetaSafe blockchain. And that's going to be spread across tens of thousands of Griffins and virtually unhackable because it's going to be uh, encrypted with your personal wallet keys. Wow. Okay. So even if somebody hacks into my wallet and get access to my password, they won't have access to your passwords. Right, right, right. Fantastic. Yeah, That's I think just it's one very, of the applications. Yeah, um, I think it's very it's a very interesting space just to kind of like I mean, just thinking about the evolution that we've gone through with 
bringing routers into our home and and how we've applied security measures and how that's mm -hmm. grown and changed to where now you have devices like this who are really tackling it in a different and more advanced way. It's just something that we've naturally kind of just needed in this space. Um, and there are, like you're saying with the passwords and so forth, there's so many different elements to this that these products you know, could could be helping protect. Um, so it's, it's definitely, it's a very interesting space, especially as a consumer, um, to really understand what you can do to protect yourself, your family, and so forth. Yeah, exactly. I think the you know, the for so long, there hasn't been any real innovation around the, the Wi-Fi router. Right. I mean, it, it's always been about speed and coverage. And sure. uh, we're, we're looking at changing that conversation. I think the, the your Wi-Fi router could do so much more. It's right. arguably one of the, the, the most powerful processors inside your home, other yeah. than maybe your gaming laptop, right? So right. Right. it's got a quad-core processor running gigabit, you know, connections. Uh, mm -hmm. it, it's it's a very powerful appliance, and we right. think it can, it can do quite a bit more in terms, especially around security and privacy. Sure, absolutely. Uh, so, for audience out there who's listening to this and wants to learn more about the product, um, potentially purchase one, just kind of dive in a bit more as a follow up to this conversation. What's the best way they can do that? Is there a way to reach out if they have questions? What, what do you What do you advise? Sure, uh, they can go to our website. It's uh, GriffinConnect.com. G R Y P H O N Connect.com. Or they could just find us on Amazon. We're uh, we're selling the product on Amazon, so they can uh, just okay. search up Griffin G R Y P H O N, and uh, we'll show up. Fantastic. Well, John, thank you so much for taking the time. Um, appreciate you kind of diving into this product a bit more. It's very 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 awesome thing that you guys have created, and look forward to kind of staying in touch and following along with the company to see what comes out next and uh, kind of the advances you are putting onto the market. So, thanks again for your time. Yeah, thanks, Ryan, for having me on the show. Absolutely. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed that episode of All the Smart Things with John Wu and learning about the Griffin AX. If you're interested in learning more about this product, you can go to griffinconnect.com slash griffin dash AX. Uh, we'll make sure that's in the description below so you can um, so you can check it out if you're interested. Um, and But if you have any ideas or thoughts on products that you would like to see us discuss, uh, bring the founders and creators on, please leave it in the comments or shoot me an email at ryan at iotforall.com. Love to hear from you uh, and continue to add value through this series. But other than that, thank you so much and we will see you next time.